Hey guys, this is here. I'm going to be talking about some Flash Season 9 theories. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe for new, notifications on. Let's jump right into the discussion about the Flash's final season, aka Season 9. So, a lot of people have been speculating about who could be returning in the Flash Season 9. We already know, among many people probably, that uh, Ryan Wilder will be returning as Batwoman and Red Death. If you don't know that by now, it's on you. <laughs> uh, we know we'll be getting new Captain Boomerang. We know Frost will be returning. Bloodwork will be returning. Most likely, Oliver will be returning. Cisco could be returning. Tina could be returning as a superhero now. <laughs> uh, Wally could be appearing. Godspeed, Zoom, Thawne, Eddie even. Both Thawne's, Eddie and Eobard. Matt Stone could be appearing for an origin story. All these OG cast people could be appearing. And the one that I've seen, not so much, but it's still up there with like Wally and Oliver appearing in season nine. It's Leonard Snart. Now he's dead. <laughs> like he's he's dead. Um how could they bring him back? They could always bring in Leo Snart if they really wanted to, but the thing is that to do that, we need to find the multiverse again, and they don't know about it yet. Now, over the weekend, as I excluded to like a minute ago, over the weekend, Javicia Leslie, or I'm pretty sure like 24 hours ago, wasn't it, or something? Not over the weekend, today's Wednesday, what am I saying? <laughs> I think today's Monday. Tuesday, November 8th, uh, Travisa Leslie posted that she will be returning as Batwoman to The Flash. And she actually took down that video because she wasn't supposed to say anything. But she will be returning as Batwoman. So I am curious if she'll be... She's obviously a right death. Because that, that wouldn't make any sense if she wasn't at this point. But what's more or less interesting here is that she's also returning as Batwoman. So, you would assume, okay, this is a multiverse and Barry's going to rediscover it in this early, in the season 9, which can open up several possibilities for not only Oliver returning through a different Oliver, which I don't really want. I would prefer the Oliver that we've, that died in Crisis and became a Spectre and made the most sense for him to come back without a multiverse. Again, they were discover it. Everything's open out in the field. We could get John Mulesership back as the Flash if they really wanted to. If Jay or Jay, if John Mulesership wanted to do that, I mean, he could do that <laughs> if he wanted to. Um, we could get a new version of Wally in like a silver suit, found New Fifty Two, like a lot of people have been wanting. I mean, we could get a I don't know <laughs> Professor Zoom to get a Zoom ish back. You know, found the comics. I don't know if we really want that, but. <laughs> It, you know, that's the whole thing here, is that Season 9 seems very heavily comic-y. With Captain Boomerang wearing a very comic-accurate suit, with Red Death most likely having a very comic-y slash Arrowverse tie-in, because the Arrowverse is obviously, we don't have a Bruce Wayne or Batman, so it's Ryan Wilder, okay, Batwoman. But there could be very, very, very similarities between the comics and the Arrowverse, and The Flash is the best show for that. I mean, The Flash has been known to do things ripped out of the comics. Even mention things from the comics that Arrow rarely did. Supergirl rarely did. Same with Legends, Batwoman even. And Superman Lois. And Stargirl even. While they take things from the comics, they don't follow it directly. The Flash doesn't follow it directly either. But they get more close than any other DC TV show in the DC TV history. Especially in the later seasons, like with Deathstorm or... Uh, I'm pretty sure Deathstorm even a little bit. But especially with Thawne. I'm, I've, like, the 20,000 times we've gone throughout the show, he has been heavily comic-y accurate. I mean, in the comics, Thawne always appears no matter what the hell is going on at the most random times. And he is power-hungry sometimes. He is obsessed with being better than Barry so he can kill him. In season 8, we dove deep into that. For the first time throughout the show's history, we got its iconic, power-hungry Eobarth on, and whether you liked it or not, I mean, I did, it was very comic accurate, to reverse Flash in the comics, at least. Well, some comics, not all of them. <laughs> that being said, 
if a multiverse gets rediscovered in the five season nine, which I would not be surprised at all at this point, with both Ryan Water appearing as Batwoman and Red Death, unless it's like following Red Death being defeated, Ryan turns back into Batwoman, fine. But it's too much of a coincidence that she was returning to filming, she's in the Batwoman suit, and most likely it'll be a Red Death as well. Which will lead me to believe that this the Red Death cover novel is not only a graphic novel, it will also rediscover the multiverse. And again, if that is the case, Leonard Snark could be one of those people that come back. Not only that, but also Wally, Oliver, anyone else that we really want to deal with here. Or they even want to. Brandon Ruth Superman. I mean, he was clearly open to coming back during Crisis, and they wrapped up kind of his story. They showed that, you know, all the people he lost on his world pre-crisis, he didn't lose post-crisis. I don't know how many people I've been seeing uh, ask that we get Brandon Ruth back as Superman just for one more time. I think the Flash Season 9 would be the best way to do that with the multiverse. I mean, that's the best way they could do it. Um, I Getting back into Leonard Snart, I, I would love to see him in Season 9. It hasn't. I'm surprised we got him in season four. I'll say that. I know we had him in season five, didn't we, or something? But season four, of The Flash, was the last season we've had Leonard Snart. We've gone four up, coming up on five seasons without Leonard Snart and The Flash. <laughs> like, that, that's, that doesn't sound right. Like, <laughs> it doesn't sound right at all. Like, Leonard Snart was easily one of the coolest and iconic villains. In the Arrowverse, I, I think it's fair to say. Was he one of the best? No. I, I think Thawne, Deathstroke, Prometheus, and Zoom, they all triumphed that. But he, he was definitely one of the more iconic and cooler villains, pun intended, of the Arrowverse. That being said, if they are redoing the Rogues Gallery, which is what it seems like it's shaping into with Captain Boomerang here, getting a full-on comic -y, New 52-ish look, which is what the show is pretty much going after now. It's New 52-type comics, like with Deathstorm and all that, and Thawne's suit, which is ripped out of New 52 comics, and Barry's suit, New 52 comics, and also Barry's superpowers being OP as hell, pretty much ripped out of New 52 comics. <laughs> I would not be surprised if they bring in a comic -y, accurate uh, Captain Cold that is based off New 52, where he's, you know, he has some ice powers, as in he's a meta. Now, where does it all go? This could be a multiverse issue. This could be a post-crisis issue, where there's a new Captain Cold. He is a meta. He has ice powers. He becomes part of the rogues gallery, and everything falls into place. Now, I've been saying for the last several months that it really does look like the Rogues Gallery will be coming back or will be revamped post-crisis in Season 9 of The Flash. Red Death, which I've been saying for the past few weeks, especially lately, will be a graphic novel for three or four episodes. And we are still dealing with the Earth Prime comic setup of Bloodwork, Cisco, Tania, the season 9 cliffhanger of the Negus Viewers Avatar, the new Frost, with Chill Blaine, be Chill Lame, sorry, becoming a uh, season 9 regular, which I think would show how much of a big role Frost will be playing this season. Also, knowing that Cecile Allegra will be getting a crap ton more screen time this season for whatever stupid reason. <laughs> Which I don't think is heavily accurate considering I think Daniel Nicolay reported that. And um, we all know how good she is on reporting things. <laughs> um, she sent us on a wild goose chase for 820 if you remember that. Everyone thought when she said someone special is appearing at 820. And we will be so, quote, so surprised. Um, <laughs> and it hyped everyone in the Airbus community up that it was Oliver or Wally. And then it was Damien Dark. <laughs> so I think we all know uh, Daniel Nicolay has no idea what actually people want <laughs> um, or think is good. 
Uh, <laughs> so, I don't think it's really fair to say what Daniel Nicolay or even uh, Compton, who plays Allegra, has said about their characters, because I think the only person we really rely on here is Grant and Eric Wallace. That's the only two people I trust on the Flash cast. Like I said, Jesse and sometimes Candace. I mean, Candace is... She doesn't care season five, probably season four, probably season three, but... <laughs> uh, Obviously, since the hate came in for Iris through season four with We Are the Flash. Um, yeah, she's kind of with Karen, so <laughs> I don't blame her. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it does ruin the show in some ways with her not caring. That being said, getting away from that. <laughs> uh, if Grant comes out and says, you know, post something about Leonard Snart, or something, he's coming back, you know, I don't see him ever doing that, <laughs> same with Steven, I mean, hell, you he wouldn't do that until the episode airs, you know, if they did do that, like, with Cisco's last episode, uh, we knew prior, but Grant didn't want to really reveal anything, so he said that day that it was Cisco's last episode, and he, you know, said goodbye to Carlos and all that via uh, social media, it could be a similar situation to that. It could also be a similar situation to Matt Stone returning to where it's under wraps like crazy and they can't say anything until after the episode's air if they choose to. Like uh, Matt did. I'm for Matt Letcher, I almost forgot his full name. Uh, when he returns his name, which is a heavy surprise. Honestly, right death is not that way, but Leonard Snart, Oliver Queen, Wally West, you know, any other one else I can think of. Those will most likely be people that are under wraps. Now, why would Leonard Snart be under wraps? Because he is a big character that's dead <laughs> in the Arrowverse. So, if he were to come back, it would be a different Leonard Snart. It wouldn't be the same Leonard Snart we got post or pre crisis, the one that we all knew and loved for, you know, OG Arrowverse days going into Legends and. You know, Leo Snart, which we all fell in love with through Crisis on Earth, or Crisis on Earth, through Crisis on Earth X, and then fell in love with on Legends even more. And for those who watched those seasons, I mean, he was probably the only good character left on that show in season six in the later seasons, or whenever Leo was on, I don't even know. I'm assuming season six, put pre Crisis, I don't know, <laughs> but whatever. The point is, is that what we were dealing with. Is season nine can go in many different directions. I think it is possible that Leonard Snart could be returning in season nine. It's just where will that all go? So yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.